Hello everyone, welcome back to Fablehaven Age of Wonders. For today, the Dread Master of the Shire is about to teach a very valuable lesson to Kamur, the wannabe Witch King. A lesson, the Witch King is dead, and all that remains is the Witch Beast. Now, of course, we're a little bit away from him, but we are closer than I think he'd like to admit. I believe we're popping out right here. Right on top of his secondary city, Gorpit. So, let's do that after we level up. Level 11 is the level before a great level. At level 12, kind of a roundabout way to say that, at level 12, we will gain access to our second transformation. And that is when Dragon Lords really pop off. That's when things start getting scary. For the enemies, of course. But in the meantime, we'll be popping out more cutthroats. Keep filling our army with servile sods. And let us march into the un... Wow, okay. The unknown. Now, I could make this a city. It wouldn't be a great city. No, I think this goes... I think this gets burned. Like the rest of Camus' crap. Let us add siege projects, undermine the vals, construct onagers. Can I get more money? Elandril. Actually, hold on. I have people in my. Oh, Elandril. By the way, Galadriel is our only, only friend in this dangerous world. Although Denethor is growing on us. But, um, if possible, I want to drag her into an alliance, because I think that could be hilarious. We are two turns away, but, I mean, look at this. She absolutely loves us. Which is a little strange, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Can I have two of these? I have two haste berries, right? Let me double check. I do! Well, I remembered. I'm so proud of myself. So, 14 gold per turn. Now, this is infinite, i.e. it's going on forever. I believe I can cancel after 10 turns with no penalty. So, we'll offer that. Wow, I literally only have 60 gold. Okay. An expensive siege. Again. Now, I could handlong assault this, which would make it a singular turn. But then it would take some damage, so I'm not going to. And, of course, we're not alone. We have our army. Is this just a random... Yes, sod. We have our army. Our secondary army. Great. With that go, we also got favorable winds, which is fantastic. And now we have access to our tier three tones. Here at tier three, there are a few things I actually want. One thing that was pointed out to me is that in Tolkien, the Tolkien's lore, over-industrialization was a huge corruption sign. Like, you saw what happened to Isengard. How it changed into a fortification that uh, eventually angered the Ents and brought about its own demise. And so it was recommended to find a way to use the Ironclads because it could be fun. And I'm still thinking about that. Perhaps, perhaps we will. But first, the final tome from the mod, the Tome of Shades. And what a terrifying tome this is. The Shadow Stalker approached in absolute silence, floating above the ground like a ghost. Its otherworldly appearance was terrible, yet almost beautiful. When it struck my brother, he writhed in agony, and the flesh around the wound immediately blackened with corruption. That was the day I learned that the Dark Lord, Sauron, could corrupt his followers into beings of shadowy 
mist. So this mentions the Shadow Stalker, but unfortunately it's not quite it's what we roll. But we will take the Shadow Shred Enchantment because it's very incredible. <laughs> very amusing. The Shadow, it grants the Fighter Units and the Skirmisher Units Shadow Step, which is Teleport. The Unicorn's Teleport. So that sounds fun. We also, of course, got access to the Bind Golden Wonder. The Magic Victory is on the table, but I don't think we're going to do it. We just need two Ancient Wonders. But, um, like I said, I'm not particularly thinking about it. Let's get some city stability. And Breland can annex. I was looking at a map. As all... All good surveyors of the world do, eventually. And I noticed that, um... Geographically speaking, Buckland and Breland should be reversed. Breland is on a river, the Brandywine River, I believe. And Buckland's kind of off sequestered in in the hills. So, um, my bad. I thought I had two quarries. Oh, that's fine. I'll make it quarrying. Well, um, I'll make it here. Yeah, okay. Polando the Betrayer has withdrawn. A defensive pact is breaking between Blint and Galadriel. Fantastic. War. Oh, because Denethor and Blint went to war. Interesting. A treaty has expired. Was it production? Sure. We'll take more production. The Pact of Loyalty. Soon we shall have a tier four vassal. We're also going to take, at this time, Dark Vigor. This allows us to regenerate 10 HP per turn in hostile domain, so we can heal while we're sieging. It's beautiful. We are also about to get the teleporter uh, infrastructure, which... Do we... What are we going to do with this? Things are happening up here. Ah, Kamul. I'm sorry, is that a fucking lost wizard? Okay, I lost an assassin, but it was their assassin, so you know what? How in the actual fuck do you have a lost wizard? I'll keep the Houndmaster. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of a way that he could possibly have a, a lost wizard. And I don't know. Every way I can think of to get a lost wizard usually involves... Somehow some way, transforming it, and then mind-controlling it. That seems kind of bullshit. Can't expand down here. Does somebody to come give me vision of this? No Empire skills available. It is the Arcane Artisans, uh, which I'm not against. Plus one level. Plus one level. Let's take it. Right of the Exalted. Very useful now that we are right on the doorstep of Camul. I still be. I still be. Get spread of action. Beautiful. Now is the hour of our ascension. This would be slightly. Huh, slightly cooler if um, I had the Shadow Stalker. But level 12 is when the Dragon Lords get access to their major transformation, their personal transformation. And there's kind of a. I think these are exceptionally cool. But it's kind of unfortunate because they kind of override all of your aesthetic choices for your Dragon Lord. And we're going to go with the Shadow Transformation. This does make the Witch Beast undead, which wasn't really what I wanted. But it looks thematically very cool. So the Breath Attack is increased in size. 
becomes part frost damage, if not a shadow dragon, which we are, inflicts two weakened, has a base 7% chance of inflicting frozen, and heals this unit by 5 temp points per unit hit. That, my friends, is a proper witch beast. You can also see that it kind of overrode my, um, my materium aspect. That's okay. Now then. Now that we are a proper witch beast. Oh, yeah. Avenging ones. We are still upgrading our support capabilities. And, of course, our friend from Lord Sauron... Hey, what is this? Start combat with a lesser Shadow Stalker. I mean, that's cool and all, but killing momentum is the way. Denethor II would like a defensive pact. Can we bring the corrupted Gondorians to bear? Denethor, of course, fell because of his influence with the Palantir. We'll see. We'll see what we can see. Get it? Because we're sharing vision. Ba -dum -bum. Do you have any items worth a damn? Probably not. What a shock. We could ask for this. But it looks like he's already well on his way to... Um... Sure. Open borders with Tom Bombadil, huh? What could possibly go wrong? Galadriel is still ranked number one, by the way. Even after she put Dane in his place. And we can ask for an alliance in one turn. That's going to be funny. My domain has been invaded. Now, Polando probably isn't going to declare on me, even though he did threaten to do so. Because he's kind of getting bap. <laughs> he's kind of in war. Oh, it's just against Gamu. I don't think he's actually losing that. Tales of your dealings with Shadow Affinity have traveled far. A company of stalwart paladins proclaim that they shall overthrow you. Really? The zealous heralds of the Burning Penance are ever eager to vanquish a manifestation of Shadow within their realm. The company, led by a knight, does not even care to what degree you actually pose a threat to the lands and its people. You are simply a means to bring honor and titles to their name. The nearby heralds seek to cast you into the light. They deserve to be subjected to your terrible power. They are welcome in my domain of darkness. Welcome to die. How convenient, they're on the way. Well, I don't know why a lost wizard is here. But I'm pretty sure I couldn't subjugate it because they have mind control loss immunity. Now, here's the deal, team. This is a shit city. But it does have an Arcanium War. No, 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 no. Just, just break it. Just break it. Not even vassalize it, break it. There is a chance he comes back and stops me from doing that. But I wouldn't recommend it. Look how furiously I'm flapping my wings. I also realized... Okay, there we go. I don't want to disembark. Oh, yeah. Can I really not take this? Fine. Let's just grab, I don't know, anything. We'll grab, um, a quarry? One, two, Forester. Yeah, sure, let's go Fishmonger. No, no, let's go Masonic Hall. That way we can build lots of stuff. The Arcane Institute is done in Breland. Let's get an academy. I love me some knowledge. 
Spells are ready to cast. We need. Ah, should we summon another cutthroat? Keep adding to the uh, the retinue here. Empire skills available. It is the surge spell casting. Don't care about that. The rivalry has ended between Denethor and Galadriel. Ah, they wish to befriend each other. I like how I've basically screwed over Palando. Like, it is impossible for him to ever have any justification with me because of this placement right here. This was a genius move, if I do say so myself. And I do. And Tom Bombadil is green. Animal kinship and leaf skin. All right, good job. You've done it, Tom. Well, hello there, good sir. You're alone. Very foolish. You can't build roads in water, team. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, what a shock. Okay. Ah, sure. Oh. I thought this would be like an event fight. Whatever. The herald of the burning penance proved no match for your dark power and lay mortally wounded at your troops' feet. You ensured that not all paladins were killed outright, thinking ahead as your cunning mind is wont to do. Fresh bodies and souls are burdensome to acquire, so when lambs lead themselves to the slaughter, you make efficient use of the opportunity. The symphony of death rattles that rise from the motionless bodies is a testament to your success. All that is left to do now is decide how to utilize the dying bodies of the overconfident zealots. Well, let us tease out the secrets from their dying brains for two turns of knowledge. And then uh, keep building roads. But whoever has the least mo a movement. Which it looks like it's the witch beast. Can't even move one more time. That's fine. I was going to stand on top of this, but... Now this might not be a bad city. We'll see how his capital is. Maybe I'll take over his capital. Shadow Strider enchantment is ready to go. I'm going to be refreshing looking for... Uh, well, we'll take Night Shades. I am now out of mana. Palando has returned to his capital city. We have captured Kai the Steady, who has quite the inventory. I like what I see, but you know what else I like? The knowledge. Let it be known that Denethor II has crossed me. That's unfortunate, but I propose an alliance between you and me, Galadriel. Together. We shall be friends. Is any good? Nope. Galatra's begun negotiating with Effencras. That's not good. Not because she's gonna get anywhere with it. Don't don't make that mistake. It's not good because she is going to get mad when I vassalize it. But it should be fine. Should be okay. We could get Archon blood out of this. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. In fact, I'd be quite pleased with this. Hmm. Uh, it's that or the production, but I don't know where the production would go. We'll just take this for now. Because remember, once these guys become a vassal, we will get the Archon blood for free, so... War between Galadriel and Camul. Well... Done. I am building all these knowledge buildings, but I think it might be time to switch this to mana. We're low. I mean, I have a shrine to build here. Oh, I don't even have a conduit in the Shire. 
Okay, this force is going to have to change to a conduit. Guildmaster Svengir, strong under the Free City Silver Dam, trembles before you, clearly aware of your reputation. Hmm. How did I get vision of this? Don't know, but okay. You stay there. You know... I could put an outpost here. For the mana, and then expand onto the gold. I could do that. In an earlier playthrough, someone mentioned that I don't use outposts enough. And I don't disagree. Now, a city down here would be fun. I don't think I can even build on this tile. Yeah, this is bedrock. This is bedrock. Well, I could expand through this. Like, if we take Flint Wall here. Yeah, maybe I'll take the city. We'll see. Uh -huh. Defensive pact between Tom and Dane. Uh oh. That's not good for me. We'll end our turn down here. You know, now that I think about it, I can actually fix this mana problem with this. This would give me like 50 mana. Hmm. That might be the play. Oh. Camul wishes to fight. Now, Camul himself is not a presence, but this looks like it could be a tough fight. We'll see how the auto does and go from there. I imagine. I mean, it's not that. Uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's not that bad in like the grand scheme of bad, but we can do better. Probably. I hope. Okay. And the first key to doing anything better. of course to understand why the AI did so shit. Hmm. And if I had to guess, if I were a guessing individual, there's but one word. Positioning. Positioning is vital. A little bit of region going, no big deal. Whoops, it all. Let me just pull you back. Go there. I need more Zephyr Archers. I need to start spamming those guys. I'm not saying that I have a thought about building a stack of only Zephyr Archers. But the thought has crossed my mind. I think what's going to be most important here, spell-wise, is using Shadow Dash on the Dragon. Oh, I want to breathe on that so bad. Okay. I just want to make sure that we're in nice and tight. Nice and deep black. And hope they don't have any AoE spells to punish me. Or, you know, minimal AoE spells to punish me. Okay, we definitely don't want to do anything right now. I could Baneful Curse, honestly. We'll whip one spell. But next turn is definitely a... Okay. Good news, though, we're not playing on Overwhelming Power anymore. That, or excuse me, unlimited power. That was bullshit. These are the, what are they called? 
the Wild Witches from the expanded cultural roster mod. Which, by the way, I will be disabling for the first Primal Fury playthrough. I will be disabling all, pretty much all mods. It'll just be primarily the creation mods. Whoops. That looks good. Got some fumbles going. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and shadow dash, I think. Or phantom dash. That shall restore some of my AP. And I think what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to teleport. Tail swipe. And now we're looking for kills. Anywhere, really. Wow, okay. Uh -huh. You guys really blew your load, huh? I need to make sure that I can protect my, my dragon. So go in there for the kill. Or not. Sure would be great if that was a kill. Why are you so slow? Is this thing just in the way? That's embarrassing. We'll try. It was indeed, but you still can't get to where I want you. <sighs> I wanted to try an assassin here. Okay, we can assassinate with this, but I want to make sure I can refresh my action as well. So what if I get... Oh, we definitely want to do this. It does do friendly damage, though. And it could do this. Okay. That's definitely worth refreshing. Whisper. They are misfortune, but... Death! It is... The inescapable... And you know, now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> did they really need to buff Misfortune? I don't know. I'm a little worried about this. You gotta be honest, Tim. I don't have a great opening here. I mean, I can inflict weakness and burning and bleeding and shit. Which is probably what we need to do. I wanna do the gremlin. Where's my nip? There she is. She can go over here and steal strength from anything, really. That guy. And then we can seduce uh, this guy. Which is totally the right thing to do after you've attacked him. Now, the succubus is this assassin they are. You can try an assassin, uh, seduce here. Fantastic. As I said, we could try a seduce, and it'd be great if it works. Okay, actually, don't want you to move yet. 
I don't know where to move you. Cutthroat. You can go here for weaken. What this is really going to come down to is how much is my frozen impacting stuff. I think. I think that's what this is going to be. There's the Berserk. Fantastic. I'm going to put this here just to be in the way. Can I hit anything? Behind you! I miss. Fair enough. Alright, that was a long turn. That's all I've got. Let's see how this pans out. Okay. Swung at her. That was a Blaze of the Horde. My poor nymph. No! Oh. That was a critical miss. The Thrall was there to die, let's be honest. Good. Fantastic. The mind control units did their thing. Death. It is. The inescapable. In. My archers are kind of in a bad spot, but that's okay. Because death it is the inescapable end. Look at that misfortune putting in so much work. Holy shit. Okay. We're doing great. Worth remembering. I have two turns, I think, on these dominates. So I have one more turn after this. Looks like my dragon can't do much here. Besides swing. I mean, which is still something. It can kill us with pretty much anything, I think. Get rid of that. We definitely need to go tie stuff up. I mean, I could... Uh... Yeah, sure. Might as well do this. Weaken, Sunder. Hey, guess what? They're slowed. You know what that means? No retaliation. Even get you guys involved if I wanted to. I think it will do. Is all just back up? I'll give my strength to this game. All two of it. And they're slowed. Not frozen. Slowed. Oh, you bitch. Thankfully, that was all temporary HP. But still, not pretty. A one shot. Thankfully, that was just a cut through. This be okay, though. I think that hit its own friend, so he got some misfire as well. I have being misfortune is going to be very powerful in the next batch. Very powerful. I should have used the curse on this thing. Oh well. Want to see me do it again? No. I can't. That's fine. Uh, I do kind of have to end this turn, though. Duh! Um. 
The death didn't work. New plan. Boop. Isn't it great when just everything is slowed and so guess what? It can't retaliate. Ah, yes, my misfortune. Other people. Oh, look. It's fine. Listen in the cutthroat. Kind of running out of time for the mind controls anyway. 50%. Oh, I removed the frozen. That wasn't smart. Well, okay. Fair enough. We'll just come back here. Heal ourselves. This will be the last turn, I think, of mind control. Oh, it just let, it just expired. We we tried. Oh, good crit. This should be it, I think. Well, that one's still good. Umbors will know. Yes, Zephyr Archers. Good Zephyr Archers. Shall I yoink an assassin from him again? I think I shall. 300 knowledge. Writ straight from their skull. And I cannot take this. So we're going to just miss it. Sorry. I wanted it, but you know. Hazardous. Nightshades is in. Uh, I don't know where it is. I can't find it. It's 60 to refresh. I don't want Iron Grip. I can't even make use of it right now. We'll just go Enchant a Crow Companion. It's fine. So, out of curiosity. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I could make this a teleporter, but we'll make it a mine. Out of curiosity, if I go for Arcane Artisans, we're at plus 71 mana. If I pop this, plus 121. I was on point with the 50. I knew. I knew what was up. Who are you? Stay away from my territory. This is mine. You can't have it. Let us go to the next tier. So we can finally get our own cavalry. And I want to block these guys. From expanding in my direction. Give me a shrine, please. Buckland, give me mana if you can. Fantastic. Okay, great. Now then, what to do about this? I don't know what kind of question that was. There's only one thing to do. Slaughter. Can I get the... Oh, I'm one short. That's fine. I believe Camul is broken. I'm broke as well. Camul is broken. I'm broke. There's a difference. Galadriel, can you fix this? I'm running out of shit to sell you. In fact, this is my final item. And I kind of want to keep the eagle bow, you know? I guess what I could do... Okay, it's time. Oh, yeah, we captured you. I can't kill them. The Ring of Flames. Hmm. 
Okay, we'll sell those. That should give me some trash to sell to Galadriel as well. Have the wolves, please. I remember my, my first dragon lord was Smaug, and I played as the industrious culture, which can just find items out of thin air. And that really synergizes with the dragon horde mechanic. All right. Onagers, undermine the walls. And he has towers. He does have a battlement, so I might as well. A four-turn siege to claim the capital city. Level eight for our ally of Sauron. Demon step. We could go Shadow Familiar. Action economy and all that is incredibly powerful. Let's go Searing Weapon. You know what? Two fire damage to all attacks. That's better on a repeating character, such as... You. And the Ring of Flanking is better on a single target character, like that other character. But you now have Summon Elemental. Fantastic. And you are done with your support stuff for now, so let's go get fighting. The new Empire skill that is available are these, which is... Uh, whatever, I don't care. Yes, we captured somebody. Friendship between Denethor the Second and Kamul. Well... Tom Bombadil has begun diplomacy with Effen Kras. Not a good idea, bro. A, a knight. Ooh. Now see. Ooh. This could be interesting because knights can evolve into the Banneret Knights. Which is a tier 4 unit. And these should be servile, right? Where are we? What? <laughs> Where are we? Over here. Yes, the river gate. So they should be servile. Just double checking. Covenant of Shadows. Yes. Okay. I wonder if they'll keep servile when they evolve. Shall we do science? Uh, I'm broke again, but... And the infestation's back. That's okay. We'll have words. Palando continues to be near my territory. He wants to declare so bad. Palando himself just went under. Are you chasing down Camille for me? That'd be funny. Oh, there was a, um... Bro, there was a mystic node. Tom, that's my territory. Gentle Crow Companion is in. I'm not going to cast it because we're looking for the Summon Shadow Stalker. Yes. So this is the modded unit from the Time of Shades. And it is a callback to the Shadow Stalker from Age of Wonders 3, which should instill terror into the hearts of all who know. And if you don't know, just trust me, it was terrifying. Also, I have a lot of money for some reason. I don't know where this came from, but I'm used to build another Zephyr Archer. While we are tearing up. And let's get, um... I have a boosted Scholar skill. I guess two of our cities will tear up. The Witch Beast is another glorious level for endurance training. Friendship between Galadriel and Blint. I have been invaded repeatedly, indefinitely, indubitably. Really? Where are you going to send an invasion? Let's watch this derelict workshop in the middle of fucking nowhere. 
Thank you, cicadas. Send an invasion force at me. I dare you. How? How are you going to walk across the map and attack me when you have Denethor right here? He's literally in your domain. Do it. The chairman of the Dark Hobbits' council comes before you, an ornate book in her hands. This, she says with pathos, is the legacy of the Dark Hobbitses. In ages past, tribes, kingdoms, and entire realms have disappeared into the mists of time, their knowledge seemingly lost forever. But with great dedication and spellcraft, much that was forgotten can be rediscovered, like runic messages carved deeply into the hidden roots of this world. We have compiled a book of tutelage, ready for transcription so that all dark hobbitses may be guided to study the past. I believe that I shouldn't take this. Uh, the past is not comprehensible to the masses. Let me enlighten you. Also importantly, our Dark Sauron, our Dark Lord Sauron, has destroyed the past. And there is now only the future. Okay, so he is servile. That's good. And he will evolve. Also good. Unfortunately, nothing else really, but it's okay. You can hang out here until... It's safe. I like, I feel like Palando doesn't respect my territory. Wow, okay. We'll start casting Shadow Stride enchantments. Galadriel has crossed you. Okay, rivalry was declared. Oh. Should I declare it back? Sure, why not? We can even fabricate real quick to get more things going. Yes, Tom has been rude. As has Polando. Why are the blue characters being mean to me? What has purple done to offend blue besides be superior? I actually think I like the color blue more. But, you know, purple looks so good. Purple's a royal color. What the fuck is this? I'm gonna have to murder you, Palando. You're asking for it. I appreciate how Buckland is still happy, even though it is being pillaged at the moment. Palisade walls are in. That's good enough for me. The Shadow Stride enchantments is in. Allowing us to shadow step. Camul has withdrawn to the astral void, meaning that he's about to die. Rivalry between Denethor and that guy. I was thinking of you, Witch Beast. We have much in common. Perhaps we can bring our empires closer together. Well, you see, I'm not against that, but this is a problem. That is a, a big problem in my... my humble opinion. My only true fan is Galadriel. Out of curiosity, how much would this cost? Okay, that's not... Wait, is this tier 2? So you used to be able to get tier 4 units down to 48 gold if someone fully liked you. But they've tweaked the numbers a few times to make it so it doesn't go too far from its actual value. I am pleased that you see the true colors of my rival, Palondo. He was my rival first, bitch. Holy shit. 
Are you sending more invasion forces? Well, I realize now what I must do. I'm trying to see through the fog of war. There's a, a way up here. How are you getting out of this territory? You have a spell jammer up. Of course you do. That's fine, because it's not going to help you. Polando has to die. There's no if ands, or buts about it. Remember back in the good old days when the Overlord's Tower gave you no income? And it was just this absolute bitch to build? It's still a bitch to build. It takes 10 turns. But remember those days? I remember those days. I don't look back upon them fondly, but I remember... <laughs> Uh, we definitely want to build the Cults of Desire, by the way. Oh, what am I thinking? That can be the Conduit. Did that ever change? I don't think it did. Do I care? Not really? What the hell's a Shrouded Altar? Hold on. Knowledge. Draft per adjacent Conduit. Unlocks the production of Shadow Stalker and Succubus units. <gasps> Shit, this black market is in a bad spot. Well, that's fine. I can build this here. And then I can turn this into a conduit, which I definitely should. And then I can turn this into the new conduit, the other conduit. Summon Shadow Stalker is in and it's time for the next tome. Now comes my. I'm short, aren't I? Hold on. Oh, I had an idea and I don't think it's going to work. crap. So what I wanted to do, remember when I mentioned all the archers? I wanted to get the Tome of the Crucible. But I am one Materium short if I get a Materium Tome now. I could get Tome of the Dreadnoughts. I kind of want to get Tome of... She Dreadnought wouldn't be bad, would it? Because then I go to 4-4. Four, four, and I can get a Materium Tome. Uh... Hmm. Terramancy would be fun. I do have some mountains that are being annoying. And Tremor Ritual is great. Shall we shake the earth? The thing about the... Okay, so here's the thing about the Tome of the Dreadnought. The Ironclad, which is a very cool unit, is a mythic unit. Meaning it benefits from no transformations and very few enchantments. And so the way you make this really good is with tuning kits, which is right. All right, fine. We're going to the Dreadnought. Dreadnought technologies are unmatched on the battlefield. Envision a fusion of steel and craftsmanship, dominating everything in their path. Explosions shatter the earth and rain down fire on your foes. An astounding sight to behold. Truly, when an ironclad rolls into battle, the fight is already over. It's already over. So the ironclad, very fun, very cool, very odd. And it feels like it's going to hurt my soul to get a tuning hit just for the ironclad. But pending barrage is very strong. So we'll take that. <laughs> it even kind of sort of synergizes with the archer stuff I want to do. Okay. Um, I mean, I might as well build the Scholar's Guild. Try to build the Masonic Hall first. Archon Blood Acquired. This is from our newly acquired vassal. I have two of these now. Wow. Denethor is proposing unto me an alliance. Very well. If the Dark Lord Sauron 
saw fit to bring you in. I suppose I can as well. An alliance between Blint and Dane. Oh, 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 I'm going to enjoy killing you. Wait a minute. The picture changed, but the city didn't. Um, we got a stone back because Effencrass, excuse me, Rivergate is now a supreme vassal. There are not a whole lot of, um, free cities on my bar. That or the other free cities are hidden underground. What we can do with this stone, we could either give it to a city, which might not be good, a bad idea. We could take Court of the Whispers, Court of Whispers, to get two stones that we now have access to. One because it was sitting in my inventory, the other one because we just got a new one. And we can give this to other people's vassals and siphon off some income. And of course, get some bonus knowledge because we gave them a stone. So we're looking for the higher tiers of people we're not at war with. Based on what we've seen so far, trash. But it, trash is better than nothing. I don't know by how much. At least a little bit. Good. A diplomatic approach will assure victory. I'm kind of impressed that she loves me. I also wish that would increase the uh, gold for a little bit. You think befriending Evancraz will help you secure your victory? Wow. You're an economic warlord? Huh. And you like... Okay. Wait a minute. Didn't I make you... I feel like I didn't make you an economic warlord. Oh, that's fine. It is time to attack. Now, of course, I could auto-resolve this. Perhaps I should auto-resolve this. But... It is what it is. The rules are clear. I must fight. For my rights to win. We have, by the way, a nice better matriarch who can teleport. So, you know, that's cool. Fair and balance and all that. <laughs> uh, of course, it's a fucking fire elemental. I don't know what I expected. Actually, I can tell you what I expected. Not a fire elemental. I'm retreating because the shield maiden are scary. Alright. Good turn. Good shots. You think that's going to stop me? Sorry to disappoint you. How big is this breath again? Pretty big. So I think if I move here? There you go. Then we just phantom dash. Of course, phantom dashing right now is a little harder than usual. What big of a deal? I'm a little harder than you. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm a jester. What can I say? Except you're welcome. You're welcome. Duh! It is the inescapable end that awaits all mortals. Especially the sanctimonious idiots who presume to use me. 
I am nobody's puppet. I, I thought that had demolisher. I am the puppet master. And in death, you will all dance upon my streets. It's been a while since I did the whole thing. Always a good time. It'll be a sad day when I forget how the words go. Hopefully they never happens. But never say never. Strange things can always occur. Alright. Speaking of strange things occurring, somehow... They haven't given up on life yet. I'm not sure either, to be honest. Not a very good chance of death. A chance of death. Death with a chance of meatball. You know? Can I put any more damage on this thing? Any more damage. Probably should save the curse for this turn. Maybe? No. Yeah. Death! It is! Resistant. Well, okay. Ow! Holy shit! That was 23 damage. You stunned my dragon. That's fine, I have an assassin here. And with that, kind of surprised it didn't break. The last forces of Kamul. Hey, look, a gust of rumors. I wonder where those came from. You have crumbled the last defenses of Kamul and cast him into the astral void, banishing him from this realm. Whatever schemes Kamul had in the works, none of them shall come to fruition. The last of his misguided troops flee to hide in the hills and woods. His Dol Guldur, their spirits crushed by their false idol's yoke, now find themselves at your mercy, O oh glorious dread master. Whatever the future holds, Kamul is a thorn in your side. No more. How will you commemorate this extraordinary victory? Hold a parade to celebrate your triumph. You know, he had a really shit spawn. I kind of feel for him. Like, not a lot, but kind of. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I can accept this plunder. The fuck is this? Oh, he had a city over here, I think. Is there a way up? I don't see one. It probably is. I think... Fucking bedrock. If I was going to make a fourth city, this one wouldn't be a bad one, honestly. Like, I can't expand over here, right? But I can go up. And I can make a full-on aquatic city. And I can grab this. Otherwise, I have to come up here where it's like there's no water nodes at all. Though, it's a tier 3 city already. It's a turn to migrate it.
Eh, sure, why not? We, of course, need to expand our governance as well. And we shall take Lintwall for ourselves. We need a good name for this. It's underground, which is curious. Our champion, Sauron. So, what up? Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want. We have to prepare this character to be a leader. We have captured Thorak the Academic, who has nothing. We have remains of a charger, who has nothing. I'm going to sell that shit. I shall remain at war as my domain continues to be invaded. And I am just passed upon. So we'll get a fourth city. We have the cap that's about to raise, which means it's time to get another hero. Which means the any more money. The everlasting... The everlasting quest. This is unfortunate. Let's go bop in this. It'd be great if Polando bopped it, but I don't think it will. Poor Buckland. Hello? Oh. <laughs> More invasions. Cool. Just what I wanted. How did you know? Alright. Now that I'm not at war with anybody, I can begin safely maneuvering toward the other party. Yeah, there is nothing here. All right, Flint Wall. I know you're mad. Don't worry about it. I am broke. Okay, worry about it a little bit. What have you built here? Not a whole lot. Okay, that's fair. You do already have the black market. That's nice. I respect that. Mine, quarry. I broke that. Not gonna lie, I did not expect to bring these guys in as a... A city. So, you know. Yeah, food's gonna suck here. Huh. We built a farm here. That's fine. Okay. Well, shall we go see what this asshole's up to? While we're here. Ooh, you have focus crystals. I like that. Unfortunately, you're going to have to just produce stuff for a little bit. Repair that. The Shire can annex. The Shire shall annex. Maybe I go research over here as well. One, two, three. Respond to heroes offer join. I would. I'd love it if you were free, though. You know? What is new? Ah, Exalted by Shadows. Not a bad one for me to get this early. Denethor has withdrawn to the Astral Void. Galadriel has crossed you. That's unfortunate. Treaty has expired. Production again. I am now pure evil. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, this was an undead horse for a second. Look at that horse mount. It's cool. The the mount armor for the horse, specifically. Not the horse itself. It's just a horse. 
Well. Let's go break this city, shall we? Where's the two turns each other way? Even if I build onagers and do a quick, a quick destruction thing. That is a tier 4 unit right there. Still underground, by the way. That bug hasn't been fixed. Um, It's fine. I'd love to recruit you. You're expensive. There's the pillaging thing. I think we'll wait for that now. Uh, we will take Exalted by Shadows. I was falsely denounced. Interesting. He's declared rivalry with me, but I haven't declared rivalry with him. Shall we? I just don't have the forces to deal with this infestation. Okay, great. I've been invaded. I can now get Headhunters and the Dark Knight. So the Headhunter is the modded unit. Ooh. Okay. This has two teleports. It has the Ruthless Execution, which is a three-ranged, like, teleport two-unit deal damage. And it has Shadow Step, which is the modded just teleport and have an action. Those are going to be really annoying. I'm into it. Respect. Hobbits is in being annoying. Name a more classic combo. That's what they're good at. Dread Master Witch Beast. I urgently request an audience. Your heroine, Sarinta Stern, visits you with a concerned look in her eye. Our defense is lacking. I arduously serve your ambitions. For you, I venture into the wilderness or invade your rival's territories. Sarinta kneels. But now that I have started a family, my priorities have shifted. These days, my mind lingers with my family inside your borders. I have witnessed the ferocity of our enemy's forces. Our realm's protectors cannot withstand them. We need powerful reinforcements. Sarinta Stone frowns. I can manufacture golems, defenders of our homeland. However, building them requires some tranquility pool. Could you secure that? I can. Unfortunately, I can do it in six turns. Also, I never expected to hear some, some tranquility pool. And unfortunately, we're going to have to keep waiting because this is still happening. I definitely want to black market. Probably here. The Shire. Is it time to build the Thieves Guild? So this is a modded um, building that is very difficult to build. It has so much production because you can build it, I think, on Tier 1. And basically, it reduces your happiness by a bit, but it gives you five gold income per quarry, mine, farm, or forester. So it doesn't include the research post and the conduits. Oh, this counts as a guild. Oh, this is a guild like a guild guild. I think I read it was bugged where it didn't count as a guild guild. I don't know if I want to overbuild that quarry. My production's already lacking. Ah, they came. They really did. And for Nightshades, this is our major racial transformation, which will give us Shadow. Oh, it's a type. Interesting. Uh, Frost resistance, pass through, and shadow escape, which is like slippery. Or not slippery. Um, The Naga thing. Denethor has returned. Blint has withdrawn to the Astral Void. Very good. 
we may not be so different after all. Which beast? I hope not. I was insulted. I was insulted. I have two infestations breathing down my neck. And these two assholes want to insult me. That's fine. I'll insult you back. But be warned, I breathe fire. Well, frost, but same thing. Ah. I don't know what's down here, but this could be a city. Or, you know, like a vassal. I don't think... Oh, you have two... Ooh. You have two magical materials. Uh, I am going to vassalize you. Then we'll go here. We'll bring the knight in here. Go here. That's. You join that. We have our third wayward stack. Penny Barrage is in. Oh, I want the Wind Rager. Let's get the Ironclad. Uh, do I want a Scholar's Guild? Kind of do. Get a black market down. Or if we in a place, it won't hurt me. Our brave champion. Leveled up. Time for to start fighting. Time to fight. You can no longer just be a support. The time has come to start murdering. The time has, you, has come for you to start supporting. I wish this means it would hit units up to two tiles, but that would be a little OP. I wonder if I should try Exhilarating Roar. Hmm. Probably not. Just go... Just go bigger. That's cool. Shall we get another hero? Those are rats. A nature adepts. Be cool if I could find a materium adept. Uh, unfortunately, no cigar. Panache. This is against tier 1 units, right? Yeah. I don't know how often this selection shuffles. It might not even be worth waiting. <laughs> Shall we bring in an elf? Friend of Ogres is funny. Does this still allow for you to get Swamp Trolls? I didn't say good, it's funny. It can be very good. Let's just get a nature adept, it's fine. We'll corrupt an elf. Not the first time I've done that. Won't be the last, it looks like. Ah, dark ritual? This is going to be our support character, because... I'm going to kill one of these for the Staff of the Magi. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. So. Uh, you're going to have that thing for now, but you're not going into archery. You are going to... Well, probably support, right? Inspiring. Vigor. Defense. Strength. And... Endurance. Yeah. 
happy experience, spur to action. Fantastic. I have nothing for you. Sorry. Not that sorry. What equip that? And you can become the governor. Now we have all these materium. The Breastplate of the Champion. Normally, Breastplate of the Champion is a a snap pick. Uh, and it would still be a pick we're going to get soon. But I'm going to start with Metropolitan Society because we have two cities that border our capital. So we're going from 471 Research, 321 Gold, 306 Mana, to 493 Research, 349 Gold, 326 Mana. It's not a huge improvement, but it is an improvement. Well, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Our new hero has some new robes. I was falsely denounced by Tom Bombadil, of all people. How unfortunate. I could exchange mana for gold, which I think is the play. The deal's not great, but it is a deal. And I'm going to take it. I suppose we're going to have to borrow a stone from... Uh, yeah, we can take it from that shit city. The, the tier 2 one. We can plop it into this. And because it'll instantly be our vassal, we should instantly gain access to the Focus Crystal and the Fireforge Stone. Which will leave only one ore rest again. Okay. Um, I don't know what the fastest way here is. This can be this way. We're on the way. You're staying in here, and we're building Shadow Stalker, Zephyr Archer, The Suck, Headhunter. You know, I just realized I probably need more production. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Oh. We have three cities producing. Get this out of the queue so I can build something. Can you build a blacksmith? You have a blacksmith. There you go. You're chilling. New Empire skill is available. Adaptive research. It's late, but it's here. Blint has returned, and a Whispering Stone has returned. Why? Usually this only happens when I go to war with somebody. Orlando has crossed you. Fantastic. He crossed me eons ago. Bonded vassalage. Pillaged, invaded. Why did the Whispering Stone return? I don't know. Tom has vassalized my people. Tom. Look at him. Betrayer. Looking at my lover's spring. Hm. He wishes he could have this. But there is no... He didn't move. There is no world in which he declares on me. None. Ah, uh, we're going here. Take me forever to get back, but I'm I'm moving, moving and grooving. You know, there is a simple solution. I call it simple. It's a solution. It's not a solution. Natural recovery. I would need more Imperium for this. It'd be to get teleporters going. Fine. Where'd my army go?
my disappointment is immeasurable. But we'll be there soon. Um, is it time for a mint? Could go for the tower. Oh, yeah, see, this would give me additional drops. I suppose I could get this and then put it there for this too. I could also put it here for this mine and this mine. Has this mine been inhabited the entire time? Oh my goodness gracious. Just silly boy. Uh, we definitely need the prison cells before I forget. I also need the crypts as well. That way I can execute these prisoners and get their items, which is what I want. Yes, we looked at that. A call to war. Oh. Okay. So, I was afraid of this. Galadriel has gone to war with Denethor. Now, Denethor is an ally of mine. But I'm going to stay with Galadriel. Unfortunately, this also breaks my alliance. Galadriel, what are you doing? All right. All righty. Galadriel has dragged me into three wars. Welcome to the war, witch beast. Denethor stands no chance against us both. Welcome to the war, witch beast. Tom Bombadil stands no chance against us both. Oh, interesting. So what ended up happening was because I answered her call. Huh. Polando was pulled into it, and Polando declared on me, which means she declared on Polando. Now we're in a bit of a pickle. But we should be okay. And then this turn, we're going to go to war with Denethor. So we are now at war with three people. while also being hated by the other two. It is literally me and Galadriel against the world. My scouts are dying. I saw this coming. <sighs> one by one, they come. One by one. It's not infestations. It's people. Well, I can grab this, I guess. While we're here. It is said only fools would disturb the eternal bedchambers of the Queen Celeste the Mender. This, however, does not stop you. In the center of the tomb, you find a large altar with several preserved corpses draped around a decorated queen, looking like sleeping lovers, even after centuries of being buried. Suddenly, the decorated corpse stirs and opens her eyes, her undead lovers following suit. Raspy voices echo through the tomb as they arise and beckon you. Welcome, intruders, Celeste the Mender grins. Have you come to reignite the flames of our passion with your essence? Ooh. That is weaken the Mender's link to the land of the living. This is an eight shack. 
And we succeeded, of course we succeeded. Now I'm going to do this personally because of a fun little quirk, I'm sure you may know. This quirk... Let's not demolish stuff by walking over it. Is that this fight ends in a single moment. All we have to do is kill the mender. And the fight's done. Unfortunately, that may be difficult. We'll see. And then we... Death! The inescapable end. And just like that, the fight is over. Flawless victory. You have defeated the undead queen and her lovers. The queen rises once more and claps her hands in trust. Her raspy voice echoes once again through the lost queen's crypt. You have impressed me, Dread Master Witch Beast. That's a lot of gold. Not many are able to do so. You have ignited passions within me I had long forgotten. For that, I wish to thank you. Village Queen bows. I am yours, O oh Dread Master, as is my wealth. I no longer have use of it. Well, I'll take that knowledge. It's a free turn of knowledge. Pop that bad boy out. We're rich. We've got fat stacks. And super packs. Now we need to execute this one. Right? Yes. To take the staff of the Magi. This is literally my favorite staff in the whole game. I'm a huge fan of this thing. The Wondrous Item Pack adds a Tier 4 version of this, which is incredible. Magnifique. Um, I'm getting a little worried, team. Which one of these is the support one? You. There are two supports? Fantastic. We'll take a Bannerman as well. And I'll start building uh, Dark Knight. Actually, you know what? We'll build an Ironclad. What could go wrong? You have a Dark Knight coming out. In fact, he's out. Build an Assassin. This is our defense force. Uh, you can just build another Headhunter. We are go... There's no great place to do this. Let's put it here. And we'll absorb that as we march onwards. Um, We need to make sure we're heading the right way. And we're sticking together. Our racial transformation is being cast. Ironclad is in. We are building one. I... I want this, and I want this. So we'll lock, construct, great bombard, get the Stygian Curse, Outpost is besieged. Indeed, it will be lost. Fire Forge Stone is acquired, as is the Focus Crystal. We are just missing the Arcanium Ore. That was fast. Our Punchy Lady. Strength. She is preparing to lead her own stack. As the Witch Beasts. It's bird action. 
Marga the Selfless. Oh yeah, that's the one I just killed. Treaty has expired indeed because, you know, we did stuff. I guess you can have this. There you go. Tier one. That's fine. I am... I don't think screwed is the word. But the situation isn't looking good. We are besieged on all fronts. But worry not. Okay, this was just greedy splitting the stack. Uh, Chief this Jenna Skull Splitter of Chakton has requested your insight in a matter of espionage and betrayal. Dreadmaster has come to my attention that my most trusted warlock has betrayed me. She is conspiring with my rival Halheim, selling my defensive plans and the secrets of my. Uh, of a personal nature. As the Dreadmaster of these lands, you are the one I humbly beseech to mete out a proper punishment. So this will not happen again. Chief Skull Splitter asks you to think of a punishment for the warlock who has betrayed you. Simple. Kill her. And make her your undead thrall. Sweet. Simple. And to the points. As it should be. That's a lot of money, but I'm going to do it so I can get this stack going. Should be an easy auto. Mm -hmm. Should have been easier than that. Okay. The stack is here. It's pretty sick. I respect it. We're about to have a really fat stack row. Just fly into us. Let's move. Speaking of flying. You're chilling. The Stygian Curse is in. This is an offensive capability. I imagine this would be affected by the shadow thing, right? Then we'll construct Great Bombard. Grab this. Get Palisades. Uh, Buckland needs to make Something. Anything. You know what? Walls. That's a good idea. Same here. Walls. Let's get some walls. So these are buff and healing spells. Um, I imagine the shadow dash is a shadow buff. But I'm not sure what other buffs I would use. Hmm. Summon elemental. I wonder if we can summon the shadow things on accident. Summon elemental. And get magecraft. I say on accident. A diplomatic a defensive pack between Blint and Galadriel. No. I realize why that's happening, right? Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm not actually at war with this guy. He's just being a dick. Can't say the same for the rest of this. I was kind of... Maybe I should have just declared on Palando. Because that would have dragged Galadriel into it. And maybe she wouldn't have gone to war with the entire world. That's fine, though. The good news is that Denethor may not like me, but he might peace out with me. I hope. Okay, we have a bunch of supports now. I'm not sure which one this stack wants, but we'll give it a fairy, I guess. That bug is still there, too, for the arcane. 
thingy boobers. The arcane archers, whatever they're called. They have been bugged for a while. Okay, so we've cleaned this up. Finally. Looks like I can finally repair all this. 200 gold down the drain. And now we kind of have to split into two armies, which is probably not a good idea. But we, we kind of have the economy to make this happen. Especially if I can make use of Servile. Good. So, we'll pull... Uh, I can't move anything yet. Yeah. Londo is capturing this. I could walk over this and stop it. Astilba. It's leveling up. Fence 2. Easy as pie. A new empire skill is available. It is. Specialist district. Right. Galadriel has withdrawn to the astral void. Uh-oh. Friendship between Blint and Galadriel. Yeah, hate to see it. Yeah, hate to see it. We're also probably going to need to get um, teleporter infrastructure. Soon. We are not going to see mastery this game. Oh, wait. We're about to get our apex skill. We'll let that go through first. While we determine what to do. So here is our vassal. Oh yeah, this is a bad spot. <laughs> but that's okay. They literally cannot expand Pat through here. Very unfortunate for them. Underground can still fuck you over pretty bad. It's a lot better than it was at release, but it's still pretty bad. Okay, so if we're looking at our territory, we want to go this way. So this is Astulbi's stack. What do we like in this stack? Basically everything but this. In our Dreadmaster's stack, we like it, but we're pulling you out. Let's get a damage or warrior of some kind. Um, I kind of want... I kind of want the Ironclad in this stack. I don't know why, I just do. So we'll put the Shadow Stalker in here. Ironclad in here. Uh, I'm really a big fan of the... The fairy. Oh, but I need to make sure the... The succubus is going along with this. Well, I guess I don't have to. It's just that she can pull from servile. She benefits from it, I mean. So our servile units are what? This knight and this. <laughs> this bannerman. Okay. What the warlock? Even though the warlock is good. Okay, do not want triple support here. This stack is about to truly fuck.
This guy does not have a front line at all. I'm about to get a headhunter. We have a Zephyr Archer. Another one. It's time to continue building these, though. We'll make a, another headhunter. We will grab this. Sorinta Stern returns to you, visibly relieved. Great news, Dread Master. Now that we have the Tranquility Pool, I have built the Golems. That was fast. These Iron Golems can defend your borders now. I can once again embark on journeys of conquest and exploration in your name. Liberated from concern and hesitation, Sorinta Stern produces a gilded shield. Nice. My eldest son took the leftover Tranquility Pool and made this in the smithy where he apprentices. Please accept this gift from my family to you. Sorinta Stern used the Tranquility Pool you found to construct two iron golems. She gratefully offers you a shield. Will you accept? I would love to. Yes. Because you have a golden worm and a gilded shield that all just works out. Look at it. You have no shoes, but hey. And now you have a frontliner. Look at it. It all came together in the end. Quite beautifully as well. Okay. Shall we start the the next deck? The next Doom Legion? I think we shall. More Shadow Stalkers. Someone step on that and ruin it or just not click on it? A Tranquility Pool is in. We just need the Astral Dew and the Arcanium Ore. Can our... Oh. Excuse me. Can our brave ally provide that? No, because she's dead. But we can get Spying Shadows, which immediately reveals the full world map. Our Throne City gains infinite sensing range, and Arby's within the sensing range reveal their numbers and their allegiance. I wouldn't call this the best Apex ability, but it's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. It's not the worst. We can see a lot of what's happening if we desire. Everyone's moving about. Having a great time. We'll end the turn, see the consequences of our actions. And go from there. Call today. Oh my. Galadriel is being is beset by the Dowie. King Ironfoot is here himself. I wish I could just hold right click. I have to keep clicking it every time something moves. Galadriel's over there. With her tree her tree stuff. Here he comes. Oh, he hasn't besieged Jotopia yet. Which means Galadriel's going to pounce on him next turn. Alright. Well. Palando flees, but there is nowhere you can flee from the witch beast. And that he will prove next time. My diplomacy just exploded all of a sudden, didn't it? But... The map is on fire, and there is no other form of chaos that I would prefer. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, putting the witch, the want-to-be witch king in his place. Next time, war on literally every front, as we march to aid Galadriel, who I think will be our only friend. That's interesting. Amusing as well. In ironic ways. The best way. But thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay up in Hampshire, you know, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And I will see you next time as we ward off the threats. The many threats to our 
Land. Bye.